Hey guys, it's Liam here, and today I have for you a really cool invention. Today I have a rideable car, which you can drive anywhere in your world that you want. So, let me just hop into my car here, and uh, let me show you the controls. So, this first one is stop. So, this doesn't do anything. You just stay where you are. This one is plus on the x-axis. This one is minus on the x-axis. This one is plus on the z-axis, and this one is minus on the z-axis. So, some of you probably know how this works already, but I believe if I do four, it should go... No, that's not what I want. Oh, dear. Well, you already seen one of the glitches of this, and it can, that it can go to walls, but I believe if I do five... There we go. It should get me back in here. So then if I do two, that should break. Yeah, there we go. That should be forward. Then if I do five, I can do this. And if I do three, oh, it's the best I've ever done. And then two. Oh, no, no, no. This is four. Apologies. Oh, dang it. And so on and so forth. Now, let me just get out of here. Oh, dear. Better stop that. So anyways, so one of the glitches is you can go through walls. And another one is you can control it from anywhere, really. It doesn't. You don't have to be in it, so that's a bummer. But it's also kind of cool. So you got like um, kind of like a remote control car as well. Now um, the next thing. So basically, here's all the command blocks in it. This I know, really complicated, but bear with me. So basically, we have our super fast clock from a few videos ago, and this is the 1.8 fix. So it's you know just setting that this block to redstone, setting this one setting this block to air and it's great. So then, these are all testing for the nearest player with the selected item slot. Um, so this one is one, which is really this one. I know this one's actually zero for some reason, but if I press the number thing, it goes to one. I, I don't know. So anyways, so selected item slot is one. Um, that makes you go in... Uh, that makes you go in this direction, um, 0.5 on the X plus, I believe. So, basically, comparator goes into this block. It turns off this, allowing this clock to constantly turn on this, and that's why it allows you to go in that certain direction. Also, um, this is probably the best kind of clock for this, but you know, whatever floats your boat. Uh, and also, the faster you want this to go, or slower, the more you can change it. So, like, one will go faster, and it's clunkier, but, you know, it just really depends on the speed you want. So, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to bludge that like button. And, if you like my material, feel free to check out my channel and subscribe. Thank you!